operation magnetic declination. So I've got a uh, theodolite set up on top here. Unfortunately, I don't have a right angle eyepiece, so I can't point at, uh, I can't look at Polaris because I'm at 48 degrees north. So I've got another theodolite that's been converted to a laser aiming device down directly underneath it. And that allows me to use the fine-tuned knobs here and here to point the laser right at Polaris, which then gives me something to measure an angle off of with the theodolite. Okay, this is the night vision device view, which allows us to see the laser beam pointing up there at Polaris. So see, I can take and turn this adjuster knob and I can move this arc seconds right and left and get that right lined up. Okay, now we can take and unlock the vertical axis on this laser pointer. Now we're not we're not swinging it to the right or the left. That's still locked up, but we're going to take and put the spot down to the ground there. It's a spot, but it just won't focus. But whatever. And then this will allow us to line this up to that spot. Oh, I gotta look through here. Ah. Oh, we can actually focus that spot a little. Once I had it on, had it on maximum distance focal. Okay. All right, now we can Let's see. I wonder if we could get the reticle to light up in here. Oh, a little bit. Look at that. We can almost see our crosshairs. Almost. The important thing here is the right and left. And the crosshairs, which aren't really showing up in the video, but they are a little bit. Okay, you can't tell real well, but I can tell with my eye. The crosshairs are lined up. Now we can go here to angle and zero, uh, one is zero. Okay, horizontal angle is now zero, zero, zero. So now we have this field of light zeroed out at the North Star. Real close. Now we need to get a compass. And now we have a compass. So the field light is still sitting in its normal spot. Still, it's still zeroed out based on the North Star. But I've put this board, or this uh, styrofoam plank here, directly underneath. So that, that blue spot is right underneath this. I might be able to pick that up in the optical plummet here. Oops, 
I'm gonna hit it. see in there that our little uh, optical plummet is pointed right at the end of that plank and that at the other end of that plank I've got a little flashlight there to so I can see it I have a little compass sitting there pointing magnetic north So then we can look through the field lights telescope. We can figure it out. And there is our compass. We can center right on it. You can see that we're lined right up on it. It's pointing right north, right magnetic north. And according to our theodolite, it's 16 degrees to the right of true north. Of course, I just zeroed it off of Polaris, and I don't know what Polaris moves around a little bit. So I could be off half a degree. But there's my very crude measurement of the magnetic declination in Squim, Washington, USA. 2022. As I was about to wrap up, I had this thought, what if I'd picked the wrong star and it wasn't the North Pole, the North Star? So I thought I'd better check again, so before moving the the, theodolite, the main theodolite tripod there. I put the laser pointer back in place. Pointed us back up at the same star as I had before. Now I can take and drop this one down, right there. Just focus it a bit. And then point the theodolite back at Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, line our crosshairs up. And just barely make out the crosshairs there, but I'm lining it up. And we have 359 degrees, 53 minutes and 20 seconds. So that means the star may have moved up to like seven arc minutes. So since it was has been like an hour or something, I'm going to say that probably is Polaris. <laughs>